Yum, yum! Hi, it's Alex. Uh, after seeing Lauren's rather excellent Traplane Mapping tutorial for Octane for Modo, I thought I'd quickly show how to do something very similar with Modo just on its own. Modo itself does not have a Traplane Mapping projection. Uh, the closest you can get is if you apply a texture with the box projection, which will project from all the six sides. Unfortunately, the box projection gives you rather unpleasant hard edges where the projection planes meet. What you want to do is duplicate your texture six times. This will be the end result. Add a gradient as a layer mask. So the texture we see here right now, that's the X minus X uh, projection. The gradient has the position of the locator way out in space. I've picked one kilometer, but it just needs to be really far out. Doesn't really matter what kind of number is in here. It also needs to be a locator incidence input parameter. And the values need to be 0.423. And then with the upper value, you adjust the blend between the projection planes. So the softer you make it, the more stretching you get from each of the planes, but the harder you make it, the, the more apparent the individual planes are again. And the harder you make it, you can just as well stick with the box projection, because then you kind of lose all the benefits of it. I usually have it set to 0.6, which gives a nice softish fall off. For the projection itself, you need to check. So if we uh, disable this one and this one is the positive X, if we look at that, by default, the Z size is positive and you get a reverse texture. To avoid that, uh, you need to invert the scale of Z and uh, basically go through each of these uh, six textures and see that they are the right way around. Uh, and if they aren't, you either invert the X or the Z, depending on which projection X it is. But it's rather obvious if you just invert the, the size, you should see a difference right away. And that gives you a triplanar projection. And then you can obviously use it on something more complex, like this Halloween skull. <laughs> and to compare it again with the box projection. Let's look at that in big. Um, so this is the box projection, and you can see the hard outlines all over the place if we disable the box and go back to triplanar mapping. It's hard to see any hard uh, texture edges. Um, and of course, we usually don't use a UV checker, so you can just replace that with any kind of image. Like, let's say, some kind of wrinkly texture. And if we look at that in the box projection, we should get some very apparent edges here from the projection, which is pretty nasty. But the triplanar completely blends that away. There you go. Triplanar mapping in Modo. It's not nearly as convenient uh, as it is with just a single mapping projection type. And I hope the Modo developers are working on that. But uh, until then, you can roll up your sleeves and uh, just build your own triplanar mapping, or just use V-Ray or Octane. Triplanar mapping.